inside the Tower of London during the Tudor period, two queens of England lost their heads on the executioner's scaffold. Anne Boleyn lost her head by sword, and Catherine Howard lost her head by the commoner's axe. But shortly after the death of Catherine Howard, another woman who was linked to royalty was dragged to the beheading block in the Tower, and she knelt in the blood of the former fifth wife of Henry VIII and Queen. Jane Boleyn was the wife of Anne Boleyn's brother, and she was also a lady-in-waiting to many of the king's wives, but she had been implicated in a shocking scandal that saw the king's young wife allegedly sleep with another man, the king's closest friend and advisor. Join us today as we look at the execution of Jane Boleyn, and as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Jane Boleyn was born Jane Parker, and was the daughter of Henry Parker the 10th Baron Morley. Through her great-grandmother, Jane was a distant relative of King Henry VIII, and the king was her half-second cousin. She was born around 1505 in Norfolk, and her family were wealthy, and were powerful members of the English upper class. But her father was a man who wanted Jane to become involved in the royal courts, and at 14 she joined the household of King Henry VIII's first wife, Catherine of Aragon. She was part of the royal party that attended the Field of the Cloth of Gold summit with the French king. Jane was considered an attractive woman, and she took part in different court masquerades and entertainment. But around 1525, she was married to George Boleyn, the brother of Anne Boleyn, who later became the second queen of Henry VIII. Anne at this time was not romantically linked to the king, but she was a powerful woman at court. When the couple married, the king gave Jane and George a mansion, Grimston Manor in Norfolk, and Jane was then made Viscountess Rochford, following George becoming known as Viscount Rochford. As the Boleyn family grew in their wealth and power following Anne's coursing of Henry VIII, Jane and George benefited greatly. They were given more palaces and also were able to furnish these out with huge renovations and luxurious items. They spent huge sums of money on this, however the marriage has been portrayed as an unhappy one. One historian claimed that George was not interested in Jane and that according to George Cavendish, he lived a wild lifestyle. Cavendish said... George ran wild, deflowering women and forced windows, and it's believed he had many extramarital affairs behind his wife's back. But when Anne Boleyn became queen, Jane was now a royal sister-in-law, and she would also become the aunt of Princess Elizabeth, the future Elizabeth I. But it's believed that Anne Boleyn and Jane Boleyn did not get on, and that Jane may have been very jealous of the Queen of England. She would unite with the Queen to banish one of the King's mistresses, but when Henry VIII found out about this, he was furious, and he banished Jane Boleyn from court for a number of months. But after being married for 11 years, George Boleyn, Jane's husband, would spectacularly fall from grace. Henry VIII wanted to get rid of his second queen, however Cromwell implicated George in the affair. Jane's husband was accused of treason, incest and adultery, sleeping and plotting with his sister Anne Boleyn to bring the death of King Henry VIII. Elizabeth Somerset, the Countess of Worcester, is believed to have given evidence against Anne and her brother, but there was no truth to this. But regardless, George would be sentenced to death and would be executed. There were rumours that Jane Boleyn even testified against her own husband to seek revenge upon him. She was a bitter woman, and there have been suggestions that this was the truth, but it's not categorically confirmed whether she did this or not. Jane's perception in history is that she was a wicked woman who turned against her husband, but recently her reputation has gone through some kind of transformation. It has been written, Jane Rochford found herself dragged into the maelstrom of intrigue, innuendo and speculation, for when Cromwell sent for Jane, he had already much of what he needed, not only to bring down Anne and her circle, but to make possible the King's marriage to Jane Seymour. Faced with such relentless, incessant questions, which she had no choice but to answer, Jane would have searched her memory for every tiny incident that occurred to her, Jane had been not quick to tell tales, but she had buckled under the pressure of relentless questioning, and it was her weakness under interrogation that gave her future detractors, happy to find a scapegoat to exonerate the king from the heinous charge of callously killing his innocent wife, the ammunition to maintain that it was her evidence that had fooled Henry and destroyed George and Anne. George Boleyn was executed on Tower Hill on the 17th of May 1536 in front of a large crowd. He spoke to the crowd and talked about his beliefs, but there were four other men who were executed alongside him. Anne Boleyn was executed two days later inside the Tower of London. It's not known whether Jane witnessed the executions of her husband or sister-in-law, 
but following the execution, the Boleyn family fell from grace. The lands owned by them were given up, and Jane Boleyn was absent from court for a number of months. She tried to secure her finances and negotiated with Sir Thomas Boleyn, and also with Thomas Cromwell. She was given a decent pension, and later she became a lady-in-waiting to Jane Seymour, the king's third wife. She was allowed a number of servants in a room inside of the royal palaces, and she also had a number of expensive meals delivered each day. But after Jane Seymour's death, Jane Boleyn was a lady who helped the king testify that his fourth wife, Anne of Cleves, and the king did not consummate their marriage. With this, the king then married Catherine Howard, his teenage mistress and fifth wife. Because of her help to the king with Anne of Cleves, she became a senior lady-in-waiting to the new queen, Catherine Howard, Henry VIII's fifth wife. But Catherine, it's believed, had been with men before, and at the time this was considered unacceptable for a woman who married the king. But Catherine had gone further. She was allegedly having liaisons with Thomas Culpepper, the king's close friend and favourite courtier, whilst the court was on progress. In different castles, the pair would meet up and these liaisons were facilitated by Jane. Jane was the one who organised the meetings, and Catherine would later be arrested when the information about this came to light, but Jane Boleyn was also arrested too. Inside of the Tower of London, Jane Boleyn was imprisoned, and she was also interrogated heavily by the King's officials. She had a complete nervous breakdown in the Tower, and at the start of 1542 she was declared insane. She would have fits of frenzy, but because of this it meant that the King could not legally allow Jane to be placed on trial for her involvement in facilitating the Queen's adultery. But to allow this to happen, Henry VIII even changed the laws of the country to allow high treason charges to be used against even the insane. But Jane was then sentenced to death for an act of attainder, and her execution date was scheduled for the 13th of February, 1542. Inside of the tower, the place of her imprisonment, first Catherine Howard, the king's fifth wife, was executed by an axeman. The blood of the queen was littered all on the scaffold, which had been covered in hay, and shortly after this, Jane Boleyn was brought out to her death. Despite being declared insane, Jane was said to have been calm and dignified when she approached the executioner, and one witness said, Their souls must be with God, for they made the most godly and Christian end. The French ambassador said that Jane made a long speech, and she apologised for her many sins. The executioner then asked for Jane's forgiveness, and she knelt on the scaffold and rested her head on the block, before in one swift blow of the axe, she was beheaded. She was buried inside the Tower of London's chapel, close to the remains of her husband. Jane Boleyn's reputation throughout history is one which is rather divisive, as some historians believe she had been treated unfairly throughout the centuries. However, she was a woman who helped the Queen cheat on the King, the dangerous Henry VIII who was responsible for thousands of executions, and he was a man who had a violent and brutal side, and he could turn on his close friends. But Jane lost her head inside the Tower of London, like her sister-in-law and her friend Catherine Howard. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.